to do is swap out his watch to some really crazy watches. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard to add a marker. Go to the playhead at that first marker, select your video clip and go to file at the top. And you're going to go down to share and you're going to go to save current frame. Go ahead and give it a name. Click next. Then we're going to head on over to Google Gemini. So now that we're on Google Gemini, I'll have the link in the description as always. It is completely free to use. We're going to go over to add files and click upload files. Select the image that we just saved from Final Cut Pro and hit upload. We want to make sure that create image is selected and then it's going to say to describe your image. So this is where you can change or add or do whatever you want to this still image. I want to change his watch, right? So I'm going to copy the text of this particular watch. So now we're going to go back into Google Gemini and I'm going to type in swap out the watch for and then I'm going to paste in that text. So swap out the watch for the Audemars Piguet Rural Oak Cactus Jack, and I'm gonna type in watch so it knows what it is. I'm gonna type in a comma, and then I'm gonna type in keep everything the exact same. I guess that can work. This way it doesn't change anything in your image and it only swaps out the watch. Click submit. This only takes a couple seconds, so wait for it to finish. Here's the image. You can see it swapped out just his watch and left everything else the same, which is absolutely insane. You wanna go ahead and click on download full size. So I imported my image and you can see this is the first frame and it swaps it out for this one. So if I click and drag this right above our timeline and then I trim it to two frames, I wanna do two frames for this example, you're gonna notice it swaps it, right? It does this effect, go to the next frame, say this one, and then you go to file, share, save current frame, you're going to name, you know, give this another name, still two. hit next. And then you're going to just save it to your desktop. And then you're going to do the same thing for the third frame, the fourth frame, the fifth, the sixth, and so on, depending how many frames you want this effect to last. The video that you guys saw in the beginning, I used this one. So I just typed in the Richard Mill. I skipped two frames and then I deleted that one. So it starts here. And then this is the second image that I generated from Google Gemini. So skip two frames, cut and delete. And then you're just gonna do the same thing for the next couple frames. So it'll look something like this. Once you have all of your images laid out on top of your original video, we're gonna make a cut. So press Command B and then go to the end of that marker, press Command B, select the first clip. We're gonna go over to the transform button over here. And under tracker, you're gonna hit that button to add a new tracker. Disable the top clip here, pressing V so we can see the clip beneath, which is our original video. We wanna track the object that we're gonna be replacing, which in this case is the watch. And this is built into Final Cut Pro completely for free, by the way. So, so go ahead and click on analyze and you're gonna see it just finished and it tracked just the watch, okay? Then you're gonna click on done. Re-enable the top clip by selecting it and pressing V on the keyboard to enable it again. We're gonna go over to transform and then under the tracker, hit the down arrow and make sure the tracker is set to whatever object track you have. I have number two because I already did this before, but yours is probably gonna be object track. So select that one, but make sure it's the one of the watch and leave everything else the same and click done. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna track the object now that we want to swap out using the magnetic mask. So we're gonna go over here, click the down arrow and click add magnetic mask. This is the new feature in Final Cut Pro 11 and above, I believe. Go to the beginning of our clip here and we have this little eyedropper tool. You wanna to click on the object that you want to, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Press uh, option to deselect, make sure only the watch is selected like that. And then you're gonna click on analyze and it's done. Probably didn't notice much because it's only like two frames. So click on done. And you're gonna notice now that you can see the original video underneath. But we're gonna fix that by going over to the inspector window and increasing the feather so that only the outside of this portion is visible so that the video underneath can play through. So now we can go to the second clip of this. We're gonna go to the transform tool. There's nothing applied to this. So we're gonna go to this down arrow next to tracker. Under the tracker button, you're gonna select object track two or object track, depending on whatever tracker you use to track your object. So I use this one. That's the one of the watch. You can even see it right there. And you're gonna click done. Now you're gonna do the same thing. Just go to add magnetic mask, zoom into your video if you need to. So right there, and I'm gonna select the watch, hold option to deselect anything that you don't want. Anything in red is what's going to be selected. Click analyze, click done, and then increase the feather. It blends in nicely to his arm. And then you're gonna do the same thing for each frame. Once you're done with that and we go back and push play, 
here is your effect. It looks absolutely insane. So we're gonna go ahead and select all of the middle clip here, including the original video. And we're gonna hold Option G to group them together. I'm gonna name this clip to we want to create like a zoom effect and you could easily do that by selecting all three clips now and then hold option G and then I'm just do final edit. I'm going to go over to transform, click this button here, go to just before it like starts changing about here. I'm going to add a keyframe right there and then I'm going to skip a couple of frames to where it starts to change like here. And I'm just going to scale this up and then kind of click and drag to move this kind of like that. And so it kind of does something like this. It stays on screen for a couple seconds until the watches change. And they're about here. I want to add a keyframe and then go out a little bit and then type in 100 for scale all, 0 for Y and 0 for X and click done. So now if I push play, it does this. Go to blur and I'm going to add a directional blur to the video. And then now I'm going to bring the amount to zero. Before it zooms in, which is about here, I'm gonna add a keyframe next to angle as well. And I'm gonna skip a couple frames in between those two frames or so. I'm gonna increase the amount like this. Keep going until it stops. So right here, it stops. So you can bring the amount all the way to zero. So it looks a little bit better, right? And then it stops, it plays through. Once it starts to zoom out, that's where I want to increase the amount. So kind of like this. And then once it stops, which is here, I'm going to bring the amount to zero. So now it should look something like this. The video looks pretty good, but it's a little bit kind of low quality. So this is where the Motion VFX plugin comes in and it's absolutely insane. I have to show you this. We're gonna go over to this button here. It's part of the M extension and it's gonna bring up a new window and then you're gonna see it here, the M Upscaler AI. You wanna install this and click on open. And when you click on open, it's going to open up a new window and you wanna save your video from Final Cut Pro that we, you know, the final edit. And then you're gonna add it in here. So you're gonna hit drop files here, click on this, and then you're gonna select the video. In this case, I have mine over here somewhere. So it looks like this. And when you hit open, it's going to preview what it could look like in the settings here. So if you go down, you're gonna see settings and you have output resolution. So you can do same as source, HD, full HD, 4K, and even 8K. Reduce artifacts is also checked. This is definitely helpful because it removes as you can see, the compression. You have a ton of codecs that you can use. You have HEVC, H.264. You have ProRes for like ultimate resolution. And then you have the option of choosing where to save this. I'm gonna save this on my desktop. Click on open. And you can already see the preview of this. And if you click and drag this to a certain frame like right here, it's going to process this and show you a before and after before hitting the start button. I love this feature. I'm really glad that they added a before and after before you even actually start the render. So you can see a before. Now if you click once on the video, it shows you a before. So this is the original video and this is the after. All right guys, so this is the 8K upscaled version that we saved from Final Cut Pro using Motion VFX and you can see it looks absolutely incredible. This is in 8K resolution and you can see how much better it looks compared to the 4K version, which is already really, really good. Like I said before, this is what we used. It's absolutely amazing. You can even do a batch mode, so you can upload a ton of videos, have them all upscaled for you, so you don't have to go one by one, which is absolutely amazing. So you can upscale as many videos as you want directly on your device, so there's no upload limits, no cloud dependency, so you can see before and after. I do also want to mention that Motion VFX does have a really cool promo going on right now. Link is in the description. It's called the Final Price Cut. You get 30% off store wide for a whole range of packs, templates, and a whole list of other tools if you use the code FINAL in the cart. They also have a flash sale for 50% off. And the cool thing about the flash sale is that it's 50% off. And with every week they have until December 1st, they will reveal five packs that the price will be cut in half. Maybe your favorite pack is on here and you can get 50 percent off but once the deal is gone it's gone so be sure to take advantage of that if you want to use a little bit more of everything then you have the 15 percent off design studio and cine studio we have access to 7,800 top quality elements and you also have cine studio where it's more of a toolkit and expansion packs depending which one you want to use or both then feel free to check it out so i'll have everything linked down in the description i really really hope you guys like this video i will catch you on my next video next week peace out